It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Finally, finally in Wales, we are allowed to go back into the pub after what has been probably four months. Four months of not stepping foot into a pub. I've chosen Marston's the San Martin because I fancy a cavalry. So, uh, without further ado, um, I'm right, right out by the, um, the Cardiff City Football Stadium here. Um, the Sam Martin is a favourite of mine. I do like a cavalry. Um, let's spin the camera. I'll keep it that way for a moment. So this is it. Let my uh, camera adjust. There you go, a little bit of an adjustment. But yeah, this is it. First time I've stood in a pub in months. Months and months. Hello, Aaron. Hey, How you doing? Hey, I've been wanting to see this for months and months and months and I'm finally able to see it. Can I have a pint of cask beer please? No problem at all. You looking forward to it all being back open or I back am, to yeah. normal? Loving it. Yeah? Yeah. Look at that. Hey Matt. Happening, Some of you might know Matt. I've uh, been on the camera, been on a video with me a couple of times before. Oh yeah, we gotta keep a bit of social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um what's it been like, Matt? Getting it getting it open? To be fair, it's been really good. The feedback's been fantastic, the response, the measures in place for the social distancing that the head office put together and everyone's loved it. Excited? Yeah, really good for today. Open, yeah? Opening an official day inside. Thursday we opened outside and we've been full since we opened. Brilliant. Literally. I just said, now, I've wanted to say this for months. Can I have a pint of cast beer in a pub? <laughs> it's been months, mate. It, it'd be like your first pint all over again in the Royal. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all that time. Do you, do you want to show, is the cavalry open to show? Just, just to up, show? No. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. come and show me? Yeah. Um, so Matt, you've, um, You've moved over to, to, to Marston's. Yeah, I had a pretty strong Marston's before. Yeah. Um, an opportunity came up for a carvery site. And you see as they're setting up now, and I've never done carvery. And it, the amount of time I've been in the industry, I haven't done. Yeah. So it's, it's, it was, it's good to get it out here and do Start it. Start this end. Yeah. So the process will be, people will come to the yellow line. Yeah. It's call and order. So if you order a carvery, we'll come to your table, bring you to the carvery deck. Yeah. You'll then see one of our chefs. They'll hand the ticket over, they'll plate everything up that you want. Yeah. You come round here so we can keep the social distance involved. Yeah. They'll hand you your plate and then you go back to your table. If you want more veg, let the waiting staff know and we'll bring you as much veg as you want back out. As, Brilliant. You, as you can see, they're just finalising set up now for 12 o'clock. Yeah. Um, we opened the carvery deck yesterday. That busy, sold out by 4 o'clock. No way. Let's have a look at some of it. Let me just uh, go and open these lids up for you. Look at that. Load of roasties. What have we got? Beef and pork, is it? Uh, gammon. Gammon. Uh, turkey and beef. The news. Look at this. There's nothing quite like it, is it, mate? No. Nothing quite. Oh, they're hot. Let yeah, you need, you, need a, you need a towel. Nothing quite like being in a pub, having a pint of cast beer, having a nice cavalry. Look at that. As you can see, steaming all fresh. Yeah, steaming hot food. What's that? A bit of ch turkey, I suppose, is it? Yep, yeah, so we've got gammon, turkey, beef. Yeah. All sliced and, and prepared to order. Okay, so let's grab this cavalry. So grab a plate, is it? No, no, no. We don't do that no more. So what you'll do is the chefs will be out in just a second, sign. Right. They'll, they'll then ask you what meat you want. You can have a bit of each if you want, right, or all turkey. I see. Yeah. They'll let, let you then point to what you like on the, off the veg. They'll plate up everything for you as much I as you see. want. So you're not like. Yeah, yeah, so no, yeah, yeah, so yeah so not touching. We keep the social distancing involved, and that way then it's all hands to go. Brilliant. All right, so I'll have. Um, a bit of gammon and a bit of beef, if that's all right, please. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please, the large plates, please, underneath. I see. So it's um, this is this is the new norm. This is the new norm. Do you think? Do you think there'll be a time where things will get back to normal? 
Um, they will be eventually, but with everything we change, this could become popular at the yeah. end of the day because this is a full service now for Carvery. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, with yeah, the self service is great, but yeah. they're actually being fully served by chefs now, yeah. and they got that interaction. So this could become quite popular. And the feedback yesterday it was, was fantastic, un uh, overwhelming. Yeah, fantastic, great. Oh, it's looking good. It smells good. It smells good. And when was your first cask? My first cask. <laughs> Back. Back in the day or? Um, no, 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 since back since, since the whole situation. Thursday we opened, um, so we had a long day. We had an 8 in the morning start, finished yeah. at midnight, and me and the team sat down for a beer. And it was, it was well worth nice, it. Nice, nice cast Yeah, we, we beer, beat yeah. forecast, so what we did then, we bought everyone a pint to say thank you for your hard work. There's no, there's nothing quite, you can you can drink in the house, mm. you can drink yeah, bottles. There's nothing quite like yeah, proper fresh mm. cast beer. Tell me, mummy. Come on. Was it just and some beef, please. Yeah, there's nothing quite like it, is there? No. Absolutely nothing quite like fresh oh, cask. Fre beer. Fresh cask ale, it's just, you, you just can't beat it. Yeah. You know, when you're pairing it with a good seasonal meal as well. And it's such such a British thing. Yeah. Such a British thing. You go abroad, lots of keg beer. Um, it's nice, it's nice cake beer, but fresh cast for me, oh, that's my passion, yeah. it's my passion. Well, you know? it, what, what you have to remember with cask is it's made with love, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, it, and it, as long as it's well looked after, yeah. you know, and you, you keep the measures in place, you know all about it. Superb. Crystal clear through the glass. So. Uh, um, Yorkshire puddings please, um, peas, carrots, stuffing, no thanks, no stuffing for me, thank you. Like yes please. Carrots, yep. yes please. Mm. Look at that, fabulous. Okay. Red cabbage, yes please. Red cabbage. Red cabbage. Red cabbage. Red So Simon, now, now you've selected, if you go round to the bay round by here. Right. I see. Yeah. They pour your gravy. Yeah, they pour your gravy. So you see where the yellow line, you're keeping, the, you're keeping the yardage in place. You're I keeping it you. safe for you and the staff. Yeah, perfect. Yeah? Perfect. Any sauce? Mint sauce? A bit of mint sauce would be great. Yeah, yeah thank you. Everything's gone back to sachet as well, haven't it? Um, not these, no, we're, we're putting these into dip pots, the mint sauce. Right. Um, because obviously the amount you really go through them. But yeah, it's back to sachet. So yeah, enjoy your meal, okay? Thank you very much. Look at this. That looks amazing, Matt. Fabulous. Okay, so, sitting down to this cavalry. We're in a little bay area, it uh, might be a little echoey, but it's perfect for the light. Um, this is what we got, look at that. Yorkshire's, roasties, boiled potatoes, carrots, peas. Well, I got a smile on my face. First and foremost though, first pint in a pub for four months. Let's, let's tuck into this. Mine's at Marston's Pedigree. And I chose it because I could have gone to a craft bar. I could have gone to a little tap house. But there's something about a pub like this that, that I really, really missed. Really, really missed that kind of... Just, just a place that's very, very familiar for me. I like to come into places where it's really, really familiar. I've just missed this style of, of, of pub. That's why I've chosen a traditional kind of Martin's pub to, to come to to film my first my first video. And not just film my first video, but to visit as a as a human being. First we haven't been able to go in pubs for months and months and months. Finally we can get in. So if you're watching around the world, this is a British staple roast dinner, bathed in gravy. Carrots are really nice, really flavoursome. Mm. 
Can't beat carrots and peas. This is a very British thing as well. Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. Cauliflower in cheese. So it's cauliflower covered in a, a cheese sauce. Okay. Absolutely superb. A bit crunchy and then a nice cheesy flavour. Get the veg. I was always brought up to um, my my parents brought me up to say leave the best till last. So I'm eating all the veg. I'm gonna get to the Yorkshire's and the potato and all the meat now in a minute. But here's some red cabbage. It's interesting. Slightly kind of pickled. Got a slight pickle on it. Though. It's like kind of vinaigrette sauce, but it's really nice. I think this is the first. I think this is the first time I've actually had a a carvery in a in a Marston's pub, but it works. The whole social distancing thing works for the for the for the time being until things get really back to normal. Right. Here we go then, into the big stuff, into the stuff I really love. Let's pull that over there, we'll drip it all over the table. Roast potato. So potatoes cooked with all the fats from the meat, unbelievable. Crunchy coating with a nice soft middle. Right. Where are we now? Let's get into this. Should we get into this bit of beef? Looks really good. Look at that. Roast beef. And Yorkshire pudding. So Yorkshire pudding, if you're watching around the world, let me show you the Yorkshire pudding. It's a great big, it's difficult to kind of explain a Yorkshire pudding. It's, um, it's a savoury, almost like a savoury kind of giant pancake type thing that gets covered in gravy. You generally eat it with your beef. But this is absolutely incredible. Incredible food. Everything's kind of boiling hot. Bit of mint sauce as well. That's a lot of mint with vinegar. Now where do I put that? I suppose I would go with my bit of pork or bit of beef. But it's great. This type of food for me, staple. You've got all your veg, you've got a bit of meat there, some potatoes and a good pint of beer to wash it down. Last but not least, bit of gammon. I called it pork on the bar but um, just a bit rusty. <laughs> just I haven't been in a pub for such a long time. It's always gammon. Bit of lovely gammon there. Superb. 
absolutely superb it really is everything's cooked really well here's your boiled potato sliced through really easy skin on boiled potatoes almost got like a little jacket potato feel to that really tasty really tasty so this just to wrap things up before I get stuck into this now this is my first time I've mentioned this so many times but you've experienced it with me first time back in the pub I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed filming it massive thanks to Matt and the team at Marston's for sorting this out for me um, great food absolutely incredible 9 out of 10 beer fantastic to wash food down with not overly hoppy not overly bitter just something nice to go with your meal thanks for watching put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers